Hey guys, it's SJ. This is Baby Name Monday, hosted by me, SJ. I am a Baby Name enthusiast. I'm now a Baby Name consultant. We do a podcast called Baby Name Envy, we being me and my sister, uh, where we answer all your baby name dilemmas. I also report on the BBC about all things baby names. I'm a bit of a name nerd. I'm a chief name nerd. <laughs> um, I absolutely love names. And I wanted to give you some more daring options today and figure out where your bravery comes when it comes to baby names. So last week we did the boy version and this is basically safe, brave, daring. So it's taking a kind of safe name or really, really popular name at the moment is what I've done. The big hitters right now, they're on so many of your name lists that I get sent all day, every day. Then I've gone a little bit braver with it. So what could you do if that name has been pinched or you think it's getting too popular? Then I've gone a bit daring. So something that's a little bit outside of where you might be thinking, but you might love it even more. So I would love you to join in in the comment section below. Pick a girl name, have a go. I'd also love it. You mark down where you fall. Are you more of a safe? Do you like the braver? Or are you really in the daring camp? Because it's helpful to know your style as a namer. I also reckon that we're braver girl namers than we are boy namers. I know I am. Um, And it'd be interesting, go back and check last week's video out. Hit subscribe as well um, while you're at it. So the first name I've chosen is Maeve because it is so popular. It was the biggest rising name last year going into the top 100 and it's now at number 94. It means intoxicating one and it's Irish, it's classic, it's pretty. It's a kind of a great daring alternative to Olivia, our number one name. But if you're kind of going, oh, I loved Maeve, but does it just feel so trendy right now? Is it just you, somebody's pinched it? Where do I go with it? So my brave version is the name Mavis. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit old fashioned, are we ready for Mavis? But vintage names is the second most popular theme when it comes to names of number one being nature, number two being vintage, particularly vintage girl names. We know, you know how many Elsies do you know? How many Connies do you know now? And Mavis really stands its ground against them, but it's so much further down than Maeve. There were actually only 21 Mavises last year and it hits both trends because it means songbird. And Mavis is a songbird. I think that is so beautiful. In French, it also translates as joy. So it's got, oh, I love the name joy as well, like Mavis Joy would be so gorgeous. And just something a bit more unique and special than Maeve. But if you're not too sure about that, so you want something even more daring than a total outsider choice, only at number 969 in the chart is the name Mably. It's such a cute name, which I think makes it really cute, like Maeve. Uh, Maeve is quite adorable and sweet, and Mably is the same and actually means lovable. It's Welsh, so it's got that same sort of Celtic vibe going for it as Maeve. And I think it really does what Maeve does, which is to be really adorable for a little girl, but would see her all through her life as well with quite a unique and special name, much lower down than Maeve. So what do you reckon of those? The safe, brave, or would you go daring Mably? The next name, I know I started with Maeve being quite a brave one, but what do you reckon of the name Isla? It has zoomed up the charts. It's at number three now. It means island and it's just universally popular. It is gorgeous. It's pretty. It's short and sweet. It's an unusual look to it as well, which makes it really trendy. So where could you go with it if Isla, you're just like, it is now the third most popular name. And I can tell you there's an Isla, I think in every reception class, <laughs> my daughter's um, school. So a couple of options I've got for you. I've actually done four for this because you could go with Alma which I adore, I think is such a gorgeous name. It's got the same L and the A, but so much more unique because it's only number 304, totally different. But everyone knows it, a bit like an Isla, Alma, so soft and pretty the same, but it means nurturing soul. I think it's so cute. Um, Alma, I just think it is so cute. Uh, absolutely love it. Or another name I found, I've done four for this, is Inga. So the Swedish Norse goddess. So the Norse god was Ing. And some people actually say from the root um, history of it, it's the same god as Freya. So Freya being so popular. So you can even have sisters, Freya and Inga. And it all sort of goes back to the same myth of this guy Ing um, and it being the sort of feminine version. So the god of fertility, known for bringing prosperity and happiness along among those around. But Inga, 
so much less popular um, at the moment. There were only six Ingers last year and I love it. It is so trendy. It's got that strong G and we're kind of liking those sort of harder girl names, those harder sounds. It's got a bit of a strength to it. It's got that Norse Scandi vibe for it. So Alma or Inga, really sweet and quite similar. But my really daring choice is a longer name if you're really into the look of Isla and the I and the S is such a special sound. You could go with Isolde. So again, a myth. Uh, she was an Irish goddess um, and she's known for the Romeo and Juliet style story of Isolde and Tristan or Tristan and Isolde. Uh, it means ice, what does it mean? Ice something. It means ice ruler. Um, so she was a sort of a tragic heroine and that is such a popular theme at the moment with all the names like Delilah, which I've got coming up soon. I just, to me, it's like breathtakingly beautiful, Isolde. So unique. Um, it's got Cornwall roots as well. So there's lots of um, Cornish um, references within the Tristan and Isolde story. So a really unusual one, really far down. But if you like Isol Isla, you might like Isolde. It's a rare gem i think which of those do you like the most so i've done violet which i found really hard violet is on so many of your name lists at the moment it's at number 48 in the charts and it just hits so many boxes it's so pretty it's another olivia alternative um and it's of course the color the beautiful purple color and a flower name so just ding 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 <laughs> vintage as well like what's wrong with the name Violet? nothing um so some alternatives if you really love it but aren't sure if it's too popular how about Zinnia? So a rare flower name, Zinnia. It's actually named after the botanist. A lot of these names are. There's also Linnea, which is the Swedish botanist, and Zinnia was after the German botanist, Johan Zinn. There were only 12 babies, though, called Zinnia last year, but honestly, it's having this little kick up at the bottom of the charts. There were sort of none, and now Zinnia is kind of getting a bit of traction right down at the bottom of the charts. So I think it's really lovely, and I think with Violet, it's got that same coolness to it that Violet has Zinnia, but it's more rare. Um, or Wild Cars, as my daring choice, is the name Valley. What do you reckon? If you're really into Violet and the sound of it, Valley, I think it would be such a daring but cool choice. There were only four babies called Valley last year, four baby girls. It's actually a shortened form of Valentine, which I love. I love the name Valentine. Um, that would be a good alternative to Violet as well. But I wondered if Valley was a little bit more palatable than a full on Valentine because it's hard to be called Valentine not born around Valentine's Day potentially. It means strong and healthy, that kind of vitality, which I love as well. But I love that Valley has the nature vibes as well of obviously being um, a Valley um, out in nature. So I think it's got the sort of same prettiness as a violet. It's not floral though, it's different type of nature, nature word. What do you reckon? Where are you? Are you with me on these ones? <laughs> Luna. Who knows a lunar? It means moon. It boomed so much over the past few years. I know lots of little lunars and why not? It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, it means moon. It connected to Diana, the goddess of the moon as well, Luna. Just a beautiful one, but where do you go with it? I found it. Found a name I love more than Luna. It was hard. The name Indu. Isn't that so pretty? It's so much like indigo, which so many of us love, which would be a good alternative to violet. <laughs> um, Indu, so pretty. So it means moon as well, or it means light descends. Uh, so it's got that kind of spiritual Bodhi vibe to it as well, Indu. I think it's really cool, the U, the same as Luna and the N as well, Indu. So gorgeous, I absolutely love that. And it's totally unranked. My wild card, my daring choice, because it's more of a boy name, you have heard this name if you listen to the podcast, is the name Jericho, which means city of the moon. So it's only nine boys were called Jericho last year, um, but for a girl it is even cooler because you've got Jerry, like Jerry Hall, really lovely 70s kind of Goldie style vibes, um, really love Jerry, but I absolutely love Coco as a nickname as well, and Jericho could be a Coco. I just think this is such a trendy name, City of the Moon, you've got Luna, Jericho, you know, it's a real daring choice, but you would never regret it. I think you'd absolutely love it. So then I chose Ada. 
So this was on the boy list we did Arthur, so I think Peaky Blinders had its time didn't it when Ada and Arthur both went massively through the chart, a vintage classic, it's at number 38, such a gorgeous name, again short and sweet, a bit like Isla. So it goes back as meaning nobility, which is quite interesting, and even further back as meaning adornment, so it could be linked again to nobility and this adornment and Ada, which I think is a really beautiful um, root meaning. I love, as an alternative, much lower down, only at number 114, Edie. I really like it and I feel like we've had so many Evies. We've even had so many Elsies, but not so many Edies. And I love it. I think it is such a lovely alternative to an Ada. It's a pet form of Edith, so it means kind of prosperous in war, <laughs> which isn't the best kind of a um, name meaning ED, but I think it is such a trendy little vintage gem if we're looking for something as an alternative to Ada. Or as my daring choice, why not the name Enid? So it's rather than Ada, Enid, it's got that strong D that you like of Ada, but it's Welsh, it is so much more rare, I can never get over how low down in the charts this is because it's only at number 879 and it means soul or life in Welsh, Enid, I genuinely can never get over how far down it is, what with Enid Blyton being one of our most beloved writers, all those stories, I think it's a beautiful name and I think it's such a rare gem, so low down, Ada is everywhere, why not go Enid and put a beam a bit more daring a bit more quirky something just for your daughter and the meaning is gorgeous as well so where do you fall with those last up i'm so excited about these names i chose delilah love it love it love it see it on so many of your name lists at the moment it's really beamed over the last few years is it number 62 it is a um name from the bible as well with samson and delilah so a lot of you know it from that and the kind of then the meaning kind of becomes temptress and things like that because she stole the secret of his strength but actually when you look back it also means delicate so it's kind of got two different um meanings it's kind of seductress temptress um and then delicate which i love delilah and it's such a pretty name but why i'm excited is i've got this mad crush on the name at the moment and it's the name deirdre I just love it and I saw it recently on something and I was loving it and then um, my Swedish cousin she posted a picture of her friend it was like Deirdre this like really cool Stockholm girl and I was like exactly that's the vibe I'm getting and it's an Irish name it's not got the best name because she was a, a tragic heroine but I thought well kind of the same as Delilah she's got this kind of almost um, temptress bad uh, heroin roots as well and Deirdre is the same I just think it is so gorgeous with Deer at the beginning Deirdre isn't it pretty it's so much like a Delilah with the open ending it's totally unranked it is so rare it's Irish um yeah totally unranked I'm shocked guys I am shocked with ourselves well I'm happy because we found it now but what do you reckon because I love names like Darling and all of those but I wouldn't be brave enough um but I think Deirdre I would and I just think you could call her little Deirdre darling. Yes, please, I need a baby girl. I love the last one I chose as well, which was instead of Delilah, a more um, daring choice could be Delphi. So quite different, but I feel like it's got the L of Delilah that you liked as well, um, Delphi. And I think it is short and sweet, so stylish to me. This is very Vogue, very stylish, Delphi. It is an ancient place, you can still visit Delphi. It was very famous in the Greek myths where it was the Oracle of Delphi, it was said to give prophecies from Apollo from those who sought advice and you can still visit Delphi and look at all the ruins as well so it's a historically important place Delphi and we love place names don't we they've been popular forever particularly for our girls things like Florence and Siena and all of those and with Roman being so popular at the moment as well those kind of place names and I really feel like Delphi really stands up and Daphne is so popular after Bridgerton Delphi is a bit of a rare gem other than Delilah I absolutely love it you can tell I get excited about baby names, so do join in in the comment section below. Pick a name, pick a name for each other, have fun, play games in the comment section below. I will be checking them all out. Don't forget there is also podcasts available as well, Baby Name Envy. It will be back soon, that is where we answer your baby name dilemmas, me and my sister. You can submit a dilemma using my email, which is in the 
uh, comment section below. You can also shop my 8th ba Baby Changing range. There are three really cool designs in there, very Scandi inspired, um, very peaceful inspired to bring calm and mindfulness to your nursery. I will leave the link below, I would love for you to check that out as well. Share this with a friend, subscribe, like, do all the lovely things <laughs> um, and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys!